All right, yo, what is going on, everybody? As you see, as we are back on the camera for you guys today. Today, guys, we're gonna be doing another video for you guys today. I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can make your webcam camera quality look like this to like this. So let's get straight into the video, guys. Let's go. All right, so as you guys can see, guys, I'm doing my OBS open right in front of my screen right now. And as you guys can see, guys, the camera quality looks dramatically better than what I usually look like at the beginning of the video. So today, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make it look as good as this. So let's get into it. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do, guys, is click your face cam on your OBS. You're going to right click it. Then you're going to go to properties. And you're going to see, guys, that my device that I, ha that I have is a hd pro webcam c920 so yeah, this is going to be for the c920 logitech guys so what you guys are going to want to do guys is first make sure you guys have the hd pro c920 webcam selected and then now you guys are going to want to copy my settings down here guys you're going to see over here where it says resolution type mine is on custom because i put it at 1920 by 1080 so i can make it have a regular 1920 by 1080 screen and then i can just size it down and for the fps guys i'm you guys are going to want to choose highest fps to actually get the highest fps when you guys are actually moving around your camera so it doesn't look at like jittery or anything like that so make sure you guys check the highest fps and the video format guys you're going to want to do mj uh mjpeg color space is going to be 709 and then the color range you guys are going to want to do full guys you guys don't want to do partial or default you guys want to do full color so it can look the best that it can and then guys also you're going to want to disable the buffering and then you're just going to want to untick all of these other boxes like flip vertically because you don't need to vert vertically flip the uh camera and apply rotation detail or data from camera so you guys can untick those two boxes and then once you guys are done with that this is actually a very important step right here i don't know what your guys's lighting system is at home but you guys can just try to figure this out try not to have on an overhead light or something like that that's like yellow or just like a pretty ugly color you guys want to have try to have a pure white color in the back of your camera so right now guys i have a pure white led light in the back of my camera so i'll show you guys a picture on the screen right now what it actually looks like but i have a pure white light in the back of my camera so it kind of shines right onto me and i'm only the main focus of the camera and everything else in the back is darker and dim okay guys now once you guys have that set up guys you're going to go over to your face cam right click go to properties and then you're going to go to configure video Alrighty, now once you guys have this configure video properties tab open you guys are going to want to uncheck everything that is auto checked so if you guys have brightness checked on the right over here or contrast checked make sure you guys uncheck everything Thing on the side that includes all the brightness contrast saturation sharpness white balance backlight comp and gain uncheck all of that and also for the camera control make sure you guys uncheck everything that is checked because we're going to be setting our own settings for the lighting system so guys a lot of these settings might vary with the type of lights that you guys actually have in the background or just kind of like your room and what it looks like and stuff like that so i'll show you guys kind of the main the main settings where you guys can actually tweak that will make sure that will make your camera look very nice so you guys are going to go over to white balance guys right down here as you can see mine is set to 4370 that is kind of a nice point of where i like to keep my white balance at because i if i push it more towards the right it will turn more orange and i don't really want that so i'm going to keep it around the same number that i had it on which is around 4500 to 40 whatever and you guys don't want to go too low as well because then it'll make it turn blue so as you guys can see guys i am turning blue it just doesn't look that good so i'm going to be keeping it back to 4580 so you guys just try to find your white balance and see what works best for you the next Next thing that we have guys is gain so what gain actually does is if i lower the gain as you guys can see guys the camera's gonna get darker and darker each number that i go down but if i go up a lot more it will start to get a lot brighter so try to find a sweet spot again this is kind of like the white balance try to find a sweet spot on what works for you with your lighting system and yeah that's the gain and then once you guys are happy with your gain setting guys you're going to want to go over to camera control and your zoom is just going to be on 100 because if you guys do want to you guys can zoom your camera in a little bit more it does have a zoom option feature as well and then also the focus i just have it on 50 because if you guys go too far to the right then you're just going to be completely out of focus so i just have it on 50 whatever works for you and then guys this is a big one guys is exposure so my exposure is set to negative six that is what works best for me with with my lighting system but if i tune it down a little bit more guys it will turn a lot darker so again this is for white balances like white balance and gain try to try to find like a sweet spot on where the exposure can be for you mine is, my sweet spot is negative six as you can see it looks the best at negative six because if i go too far up then it'll just turn very bright and we don't want that and also as you guys can see guys if you put the exposure up too much you can see my frames are just completely terrible so try to keep your exposure a little bit more down because negative six as you can see guys negative six it's not lagging at all my camera and it looks good and then the pan and tilt guys you guys don't really have to worry about that you guys can keep it on zero and yeah guys that's basically it that's how you can actually make your camera look very nice and professional when you're streaming or gaming or making a youtube video or something like that so and yeah let me know if this helped you guys in the comments below let me know if you guys have any, any other tutorials that you want to go over and yeah guys i'll see you guys next one guys peace out everybody